hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to give you five alternatives to xe so if you have been thinking about possibly quitting xe and moving somewhere else i'm going to be talking about five places that you could start selling your handmade handmade items today now if this is your first time visiting my youtube channel and you want to learn how to grow an impactful online business don't forget to subscribe today don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment below. So let's go ahead and get started with the five different alternatives to Etsy. So the first place I want to talk about is Shopify. And as you guys know, it's an e-commerce platform and it offers a simple to do website builder with over hundreds of templates, which is really nice because you're able to customize those templates and bring in your own branding. So you're able to bring in your logo, you're able to add your own images, you're able to add fonts and videos. So that's the great thing about Shopify. Um, it's very easy to use, so the pros are they're, they're very easy to use. Um, another really important one, they're well-recognized e-commerce platform. So the more recognizable that commerce platform it is, the better for you because buyers will feel secure when they're buying products from it. And another thing is you have full control over your own site, which is really, really nice because on Etsy, you don't have full control. So you have full control of your website. You could change it up. You could add anything you want. You could add as many plugins as you want. So you have full control, which is really, really nice. Now, the cons of selling on Shopify, that is because it's not a marketplace like Etsy, what that means is when it comes to finding buyers, you are responsible in bringing in the buyers. So you have to do really good SEO. You have to make sure that you're doing marketing strategies to advertise your store. And you have to drive traffic back using advertising or whatever other form of advertising. But you have to do all the work from your end. Now, the basic plan starts at $29 when you sign up for Shopify. And they do have a 2.9% and 30 cents per transaction. So you could say like their seller's fee is 2.9% and their transaction fee is 30 cents, which is almost like XC with the new listing, which is 20 cents. So just keep that in mind. $29 per month, 2.9% and 30, 30 cents per transaction. So let's go ahead and move on to the second option for you guys. The second option is bigcarters.com. So you could Google them if you like to. And Big Carter is a cloud-hosted e-commerce platform. So you could build and operate an e-commerce store on their actual cloud hosting. Now, the pros of building a, a website or building a store with Big Carter is that it's very simple process to set up. They, they make it very simple for you to start your store. Now, the cons of Big Carter is that they're designed for a specific clientele. Meaning, if you're not suited for that type of demographic, your business will not do well on Big Carter. So I highly recommend that when you go in there, you read their About Me section, learn more about them before you open the store. Now, the price is, if you're selling um, like a limited amount of products, Big Carter gives you a lot for your value. I will say that. The platform plan starts at, or the platinum um, plan starts at $9.99 per month. So it's not a bad price. The price is pretty good. Um, they don't have any additional fees. So the price is pretty, pretty good. Um, it's just that they have a specific clientele, which is the only thing that you have to keep in mind when selling on Big Carter. The third option that you have is handmade on Amazon. I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard of it before or maybe even thought about joining them. And handmade as you know, um, being, well, Amazon being the biggest retailer today has added handmade at Amazon. And it's a place for like artists um, to sell their handcrafted goods online, basically. And the pros of selling on Amazon, obviously, is because they're one of the biggest retailers. You could reach millions of customers with Amazon. 
um, you get a customized URL. So that's really nice to make it easier for, shop for shoppers to find your shop and you could promote it. The, the only downside I would say, the cons, is that you don't have a standalone site, basically. So you're sharing Amazon storefront with other competitors. So that's the downside. But if your products are great, you have beautiful images, great pricing, then you could beat your competitors. But just keep that in mind that um, you will face some strong competition. So if you sell on Handmade at Amazon, you will have to definitely work on having some amazing photos so you could compete with your competition. Now, Amazon Handmade, um, they do charge you $40 per month membership. And they take 15% commission per transaction. So it's pretty steep. You have to make sure that you your handmade items are priced a little bit higher um, because 15% is a lot. So just keep that in mind that, um, you know, they do take a chunk out. So just keep that in mind. And don't mind my sheets. I did notes. So that's why. So now the fourth place that I want to talk about is called Store MB. And I thought this one was really, really interesting. They focus on selling like hand selected as well as handmade goods. And but their main focus consists of indie retailers. So with a focus on high quality, unique products. So it's a little bit different. So this is this what I found was that this is great for anyone in the following niche. If you're in the niche of jewelry vintage fashion or if you sell kids products you would do really really well on store mb um the pros are you could price your good at a higher point than xc because a lot of the products that are sold on store mb the prices are a lot higher than xc so that's the advantage for you because you'll make more money now the cons are is that stores mb store mb demographics is for young, like hip vibe. So if your products are not suited for these demographics, it will be hard platform to sell on. So just keep that in mind. Now the cost is they take a 10% commission on the price, including shipping costs. Um, but because you're selling your items, you could start your items at a higher price. You might be able to make a lot of money with Store Envy. I think this is the one that I might, start using it i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i might dabble in to see um what happens now the fifth option is wordpress now wordpress is similar to um shopify basically um but the reason why i wanted to throw it in there is that when you open when you have a wordpress site and you decide to do an e-commerce website using wordpress you have full control you don't have no competition because you don't have to worry about sharing no storefront or anything like that, which is really, really great. You have totally control of your own store. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything in the sense of competition. Another great thing, another great con um, pro, I'm sorry, for having a website using WordPress or having an e-commerce using WordPress is that you don't pay any monthly fee and there's no transaction fee or anything like that. Basically, whatever you sell, you make 100% profit from. Shopify, they charge you a fee. All these other places, they charge you a fee. They charge you sometimes even a monthly fee to sell on their platform. They charge you transaction fees, etc. When you have a WordPress e-commerce site, there's no transaction fee. There's no shipping fees that, you know, that they take away something. And there's no, like, um, if you add a new listing, add a new product, you don't have to pay anything. That's the nice thing about having a site in um, e-commerce. The pro could be is that you might not know how to set up an e-commerce um, website. That could be a pro. You could always hire someone to do it for you. Um, or you could always buy a theme from, let's say, themeforest.com, themeforest.net. And a lot of times for an extra $50, the, the person will actually go in there and install it for you, which is really nice because then all you have to do is learn how to add products to it technically, but you don't want to have to install 
the actual theme because somebody actually did it for you. Um, and with the, the I guess the, the price of selling on WordPress, the price will be is based on your hosting plan. The hosting company is the one that keeps your site alive so people could find you in the internet. So for instance, I pay mine yearly and I only pay like $2.95 a month, $2.95. Um, I know other people that sell, they pay monthly and they pay like $9.99 a month to have their website hosted. So the price is very, very low. So for you to pay just $10 a month and everything you sell on your WordPress site is 100% yours to take home is a really great option. You could grow your email list. You have full control. You don't have to worry about anything. So that's the nice thing about having your own website. Now, these are five different alternatives for you guys. If you're thinking of possibly quitting XE, let me know if you know of any different ones that I didn't mention on this video. Leave a comment below. I would like to know them as well, just to learn something new. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, make sure that you leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. And thank you guys for watching.